Calibizo la morena, Ricky le huye, chica le rato la bato, ea. Olo, ea, 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 Kalibizo
Cologne, how are you? People of Cologne, how are you? Okay, okay. I thought, I thought we were playing to the empty audience, but I look, there's many of you. Okay. It's very nice to be here. We've come all the way from Manchester, even though it feels like we came from Australia. Uh, it's very difficult to get here nowadays. Uh, so we thought it's not always good to stay home. It's, it's good to meet new friends. So we're very happy to be here.
Uh, I would like to introduce this wonderful group. Uh, this is uh, a collaboration between uh, two different worlds. Uh, we have a group called Manchester Collective, which explores uh, music beyond bounds, uh, beyond this instrument that is made to be classical. So we go beyond that. And we have our wonderful friends, uh, Chesaba. This is uh, who I spend most of my life with, arguing and making <laughs> the best time that we can. Um, and we've come here today to, to combine different musics. Uh, and now, I'd like to tell you just a little bit about the piece we've just played. That was called Ikawe, and that means our hero. Uh, it's in the language of, of Isizulu, and this was dedicated to my nephew because he's a hero, because he brings so, so much joy. Now, we'd like to take you to a completely different place, Scandinavia, as cold as it gets. Uh, this is a piece by Abrahamson. Um, little sketches uh, of, of, of imagination. So I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.
So now, away from Scandinavia, uh, to as far south as you can go, South Africa, <laughs> not, not Antarctica, not, not the other one. Um, I think when we uh, go everywhere around the world, when we play our music, we hope that the audience's ear is ready to change outfits like we like to change outfits, you know, all the time. Um, we, we believe that it's, it's a sonic space, we, we try not to, of course we come from different genres, but we, we try to, to partake in different places and, and find our place comfortably in different places or uncomfortably. And um, uh, now I'd like to introduce Chesaba to play us uh, a, a little tune from South Africa called Vuganibo. And Vuganibo is a, a very important message for the youth. In South Africa, you often get high rates of unemployment. And uh, this is to say, from a young age, you need to find what you're good at. Some of us were lucky, but you need to keep searching for what you're good at and not do what the path, the world, the world needs you to do. So you need to find your own way. So uh, looking for talent, looking for the things that make you, make you very passionate. So this is an encouragement to all the youth. Vuganibo. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. 
Rocky Singh, ladies and gentlemen, on the Haydn. Thank you. Uh, so we thought we'd take you through different places again. The reason we did that, we played a string quartet, one of the movements from Opus 54, number two, the Adagio. And we thought, what is the correlation between African culture and classical music? How? Why? So this question, uh, I started to think about when I came to college because I went through playing too many Haydn string quartets, not as many as, as Raki, but <laughs> a lot. And, and I, I remembered an ancestral memory from, from my ancestors from back in time and even my fathers, the way they sing today, is a little bit similar. When the missionaries who came to teach about religion and all these things, what they came with as well is a different type of singing hymnal singing. And this hymnal singing is the same language as Haydn, pretty much. That's the, that's the influence. And that began to seep into our, our culture. And we began to sing in the same ways. And that's where the thread comes together. So my father can sing some Haydn bass lines, and he's never heard of Haydn, <laughs> which is amazing. So that's the reason we're trying to find the threads that bind all these things together. Now, back to the cold. <laughs> all the way, all the way to Scandinavia again. Oh, Frederick, oh, Frederick. Thank you. 
sing. Thank you. Are they sleeping? I think they might be. <laughs> shall, we, shall we wake are them you, up? Are you, are you sleeping? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to find out. Let's find out. Oh, 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 oh,
we doing okay we're coming to the end of the concert that's what I like to hear but I, I need a curse you know so so it's been very good thank you so much for having us what a real real pleasure thank you yeah. we have a beautiful song for you called Shaka Again, about finding those fabrics that bind the cultures, things that put together the culture. We share an, a word in our language from all the way from South Africa, an ivory coast. Shaka means king. And this is after uh, Siddiqui's grandfather. Uh, we might have one more for you after that, maybe. But this is the one. Shaka. <laughs> Thank you. 
Violin. We have the wonderful Mrs. Gibson, Ruth Gibson, ladies and gentlemen. Would you like one more? Are you sure? Oh,